The e-scooter rollout hasn't all been smooth sailing since it began in Kelowna, but the city isn't ready to hit the brakes on them just yet. City councillors will review the potential for any further changes to the pilot project on June 28th. So right now we're looking at 99.35% of all our ride reports injury-free at Lyme, which is great news. And uh, right now we're doing everything we can to reduce injuries. You know, we uh, start with properly maintaining the scooters. Uh, we've got our teams out here uh, doing education as well, which is super important. And so, you know, it starts from the bottom, right? Uh, they're doing uh, app help, uh, ridership safety tips. Uh, they're reparking. Uh, they're encouraging people to wear helmets and letting people know where they can find those. Uh, and so right now we're just trying to make sure we've got everyone safe. Erickson says the company is doing everything necessary to keep its riders safe and to ensure a good relationship with the city, its riders, and those who still oppose the scooters. The safety event was a great start. We've got more on the horizon uh, and the goal is awareness. So we're out here, you know, canvassing and I know the other uh, companies are looking to do the same. So we're just trying to work together and, and keep everyone safe. A stat coming from Lime Canada says that 40% of all scooter trips in Kelowna replace the need for a vehicle trip. In a city that's averaging about 1,700 scooter trips a day, there are clearly popular methods of transportation here. Now that the new rules are in place, it's up to the riders to see if they'll follow them. Castanet News, Jaden Wozni, Kelowna.